I gotta ask, once a corn husker, always a corn husker? Not today. I like that. I like that. We're gonna get after him today. Let's talk about it. You know what? When Nebraska came into the Big Ten, we all knew about Nebraska, what they had done, a historic program. You were a big part of it back in the day as a player. This is what you envisioned all you guys did when you walk up to Nunn, days like today, didn't you? Well, you know, talking to the athletic, former athletic director, Tom Osborne, when they went into the league, he said he anticipated maybe 60% of the people would accept the Big Ten and be excited about it. When it actually happened, he said it was like 98% to 2%. We're excited about them coming into the league. They've been a good fit to the league. I think their first game here, they were indoctrinated the right way. What? Uh, we we yeah. didn't know what our league was like. I heard they, the Nebraska fans were complaining that Wisconsin fans aren't friendly. Oh, oh too bad. Welcome yes. to the Big Ten. <laughs> no, I thought, you know what? Quite frankly, I had a ton of uh, emails and calls, letters from Nebraska yeah. fans saying how much they enjoyed their, their experience. Now a couple had a bad experience, but that's gonna happen. Some of our people may have had a bad experience in Lincoln too, but uh, the, I think both teams respect one another. The coaches respect one another. I certainly respect Nebraska and, and uh, I, I like having them in our league. You know a little bit about running backs. And we have, you know, they're talking about some quarterbacks, maybe Heisman guys. We got a Heisman showcase game here today, don't we? Yeah. I, I hope Abdullah is, is healthy because I think that would be a treat for, for all of us, all the fans and, and TV to, to have an opportunity to see two of the greatest running backs, not only in college football this year, but for a long time. Both of them are truly special. And we're lucky to have someone like Melvin because there's nobody like him now. I'm telling you, he's the best. Yeah! When I want to ask you this, and I know you're a busy guy today. You always said, you know what, you play for big games, good on good, take care of your business the next three weeks. You got two out of three in your backyard. We're back in Indy in a, four weeks, right? Let's talk about today. That's right. Let's not get any further than today. We got to take care of our business today. It is big on big. This will be a big boy game. Two guys lining up toe to toe and hammering it. See who can last the longest. See who doesn't flinch. I think that's what we'll see today. I love those linebackers. See those linebackers flying all over the field, some Wisconsin boys getting it done. Our linebackers are playing very well. Our defense has played very well. They'll have their work cut out for them today, but they'll be up for the task. Are right, you gonna you gonna give us a sneak preview before Tuesday? Who's in the top four this week? <laughs> <laughs> no, can't do that. I know you can't. Let's give a round of applause again. He is the guy that the architect, Gary Alvarez. Time to welcome in our honorary captain. I gave you an idea. I gave you his uh, initials, D.E. I will tell you in his day, he was one of the best swimming and diving... Ch no. What? <laughs> we go back a few years, 19... Springboard. Yeah, you were a springboard. You broke a few springboards in your day, didn't you? Uh, 93, 94, uh, great offensive lineman here. We're talking about backs, block for some guys, pretty good guys. In your day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Ron Dane. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a guy named Ron Dane you block for. Please welcome today's honorary captain, one of the best offensive linemen to play here at Wisconsin, Mr. Derek Engler. That senior year here, you guys were pretty darn good. Led the Big Ten in rushing. You had some mates along that line that were pretty strong, pretty good quarterback, too. Yeah, you know, we... we um we didn't throw the ball much. It was no. a different, different era back then. Uh, you know, we didn't care if there was 10 in the box. Uh, you know, we just lined them up. And, and uh, there was a guy by the name of Aaron Gibson that had an 86 number on his jersey. He would come yeah. out for a jumbo formation. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, I remember being in the horseshoe in Ohio State. And Mike Vrabel, is, he's laughing. Because he's, when you look at this guy, he's 380 pounds. He comes out with an 86 number on, and we're, we're running it down their throat. That that was our M.O. Back then, and you did that a lot. Tell me a little bit about you and your experience here, and I know that you've chosen to keep Mattis in your home after your playing days here. By the way, he has New York Giant gloves on. Why? This guy was a member of the New York Giants, NFL, for five years, played in the Super Bowl. How about how, how, relay that experience? Well... 
you know, there's a there's a saying, once a badger, always a badger. And it, I was fortunate to go to an organization in the NFL, and you know that, that's big business. And but Wellington Mara, you know, and rest in peace. He, it's once a giant, always a giant. So I, I was really fortunate to go into uh, a franchise that had the same principles that I learned here under Coach Alvarez and at the University of Wisconsin. And, and uh, you know, it, I, I knew, I mean, nobody wants to live in North Jersey. I was coming back to Madison. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a Badger. I'm here, and I love Madison. The way of life here is, is fantastic. I think sometimes people don't realize it. And, and uh, it, we're really fortunate to be here in, in, in Madison, Wisconsin, no doubt. One final question. What have you learned from that uh, gentleman to your right and Coach Alvarez that you still use today? Well, you know, there's, and he said two words earlier, but, you know, I, and I, I, I came, everybody goes through different paths here at the University of Wisconsin as a student athlete. And, you know, I, I, I wasn't a highly recruited and, and so on and so forth, but, you know, stay the course. Stay the course. And, uh, the other two words, don't flinch. Because when it's your opportunity, and I, I learned this from Coach Alvarez and his staff, you gotta seize it. And uh, you know, I was, I was able to do that. You gonna give me a prediction today? Are you kidding me? I'm asking for one. Badgers, roll! Woo!